Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss different aspects of zero order reaction. This is a very important topic. Questions are asked in board examination as well as different competitive examinations from this topic. A zero order reaction is defined as a reaction in which the rate does not depend upon the concentration of the reactant. The example of the zero order reactions are the reaction of hydrogen and chlorine in the presence of light to produce HCl molecule, decomposition of nitrous oxide on platinum to produce nitrogen and oxygen, decomposition of ammonia on molybdenum or tungsten to produce nitrogen and hydrogen. And Iodination of acetone with iodine in the presence of acid catalyst to produce iodoacetone. Now we will discuss rate equation for zero order reaction. Rate equation for zero order reaction. For this, suppose we have a reactant A and after reaction it forms product. So the rate law for the zero order reaction can be written like as rate is equal to minus dA upon dt is equal to k concentration of A power 0 because in the zero order reaction the rate does not depend upon the concentration, concentration of the reactant. So the concentration of the power of the concentration of reactant A will be 0 here or in a different way we can write this equation like as minus dA upon dt is equal to k. So this equation is called differential rate equation for zero order reaction. This is differential rate equation for zero order reaction. Now, in a different way the equation number one can be written like as dA is equal to minus k into dt. If we integrate this equation, we will get a is equal to minus kt plus 
C, where C is a constant called C is a constant called integration constant. Now we will find out the value of C by putting the limiting condition. So at time t is equal to 0 means initially a will be equal to a 0. where A0 is the initial concentration. So if we put the value of A in this equation, we will find A0 is equal to minus K into 0 plus C means C is equal to A0. So, if you put the, put the value of C in this equation, we will find that the equation will become A is equal to minus KT plus A0 or we can write it KT is equal to a0 minus a. So this equation is called integrated integrated rate equation. Another point which we will discuss in this is half-life. Half-life. Of zero order reaction. Earlier we have seen that the integrated, integrated rate equation for zero order reaction is KT is equal to A0 minus A. If T is equal to T half, then A will be equal to A0 upon 2. So, if we put the value of A in this equation, we will get K into T half is equal to A0 minus A0 upon 2. Or K into T half is equal to A0 upon 2. Or we can write T half is equal to A0 upon 2K. So this is the equation for the T half of its half life of zero order reaction. So from this equation we can write that T half of zero order reaction is directly proportional to the concent initial concentration of the reactant.
Now, graphical presentation of zero order reaction. Graphical presentation of zero order reaction. We have seen that the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction is rate is equal to K concentration of reactant raised to power zero. So if we plot rate against concentration of reactant we will get a straight line so we will get a parallel line means the rate is independent of the initial concentration of the reactant. The integrated form of equation for the zero order reaction is Kt is equal to A0 minus A. We can write it in a different way. A is equal to minus KT plus A0. So if we compare this equation with a straight line equation, we will find Y is equal to MX plus C. So if we plot concentration A against time T, we will get a straight line with a negative slope where intercept will be equal to A0 and the slope of the line will be equal to minus K. Now the last point in this is the unit of rate constant for zero order reaction. The unit of nth order reaction can be written as mole liter inverse power 1 minus n second power minus 1. For the zero order reaction n is equal to 0. So, it will become mole liter inverse power 1 minus 0 second inverse or this will be equal to mole liter inverse second inverse. So these are the things which we should be knowing for solving different problems based on zero order reaction.
थैंक यू वेरी मच